let's talk about chapters 11 and 12, uh, The Wake and Seed Time, uh, from The Man from Glengarry. Um, the Wake, as is noted at the beginning, this is the wake for Big Mac, the guy pulled pulled under who drowned trying to rescue a little French Frenchman, French Canadian. Um, and they say the wake, it, its initial purpose was, you know, back in the old times to drive away old, you know, evil spirits. But this one seems to be kind of a debate amongst the elders and stuff like that and, and the other men of the thing of whether Big Mac uh, is going to heaven or going to hell. And the fact of him not being born again uh, by the religion. And uh, indeed, that does seem to be the the driving the, the driving thought that while he was a good guy, he's always doing good stuff. He actually died trying to save some saving someone's life. He wasn't born again. Therefore, he didn't accept Jesus Christ as his savior. And it isn't the acts, it's the asking for to be saved, to be born again. That's a thing. And they're really kind of going on that thing. And um, indeed, the reverend is like, you know, it's a hard words. And it's like, I, I'm the one who must, you know, say these hard words on this, this terrible day. And it's like, you know, killing the parents. At which uh, Alexander Vane, the kind of the boss, the uncle of Ranald, speaks up and says, no, this guy did ask for Christ and in his dying breath and you know he he is and that seems to carry that seems to carry the point and it troubles Ranald and is apparently going to lead him back to the uh, reverend's reverend's wife Miss Murray Mrs. Murray so there's that and then we get chapter 12 is seed time because his father is just seems to be doing more and more poorly. He's never recovered from the beating he took from Lenoir, which it's like I've been reading. I took a glance at the ebook. It's Le Noir, the Black, not Le, I, I, you know, it's just because you hear it and it's like, God damn it, I didn't get it. The, the Black. So he really is the evil villain of this piece, and it's like. The father isn't going to be able to help him get the seeds out in time. And of course, the mortgage is going to be coming due soon. And they're behind. And it's like they need to get this crop out. Um, and a friend stops by and says, like, well, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be doing all this stuff. Uh, I, he, he, he sells seeds or he does stuff when he's not not working in the camps and the logging camps but I don't need my horse so why don't you use my horse and your horse and use them you'll get to get the seating out quicker and he says ah thank you thank you and that that that's gonna do the good job and uh, so there's that um, we have uh, Alexander Vane the uncle and um, black black you uh, chatting about how, you know, he's such a good, that Ronald's such a good boy, but, you know, it's going to take him forever and a day to actually pay, pay off this ground. He'll be a stooped man himself, even though he's got the kind of the book learning and things like that. He'll, he, you know, he's just not, not going to have a chance. And Alexander Vane's like, eh, not if I have, not have a chance about it. And it's like, well, I'm glad you're here because I'm not long for this world. And it's like, no, don't say that's a, such a thing and you know you'll be you'll be around and it's very earnest very corny pretty effective actually um you know despite myself in a way i'm enjoying this uh even though it's so corny uh and i'm you know i'm also entertaining that torrid uh, love affair he's going to have with the uh, reverend's wife which you know it's not going to happen but you know that's that's what comes in my my my, my brain because I'm a dirty old man. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm going to try and listen to a lot more of this tomorrow, kind of try and pack away, get the f first 20 chapters done. I'm not sure how many chapters are in this. I'll have to look at that after I'm finished here. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm enjoying myself with it. It's a good, good audiobook. Um, um, Petrie, Petrie, I think is his name, Andrew Petrie, is a really good reader. 
this is like professional level, as far as I'm concerned, professional level, like recording of this book. It's like, it's like, wow, you don't get much better. You don't think you get much better than this for uh, a, um, a LibriVox book. And he's doing the accents and yeah, yeah, it's like top flight, top flight. I'm very lucky, very lucky to get this. So I will leave it there. More videos later.